And good evening, everyone, and welcome to this episode of the Your Health is Important Facebook Live and Instagram Facebook Live broadcast. We are so glad that you are here joining us this evening. We know you have options and other things to do. We hope that you are here to gather healthcare information. We are live in the studios and here to go back and forth. Remember, this is a dialogue, not a conversation. So we want to make sure that you participate. I want all of my regulars to tune in right now because we got a very, very special guest today. All right. Our guest today, Ms. Teresa Thompson. How are you doing, Teresa? Hello. I'm doing well. How are you? All right. Thank you so very much. And the reason that she is here today is she's going to talk to us about, you know, we concentrate on one, being good health, feeling good about yourself, having a great emotional status, having good, being self-confident. So one of the things that happens when you lose the weight is that you you look better, you feel better. But then you say, hmm, there's just one or two other things that I like to do. I'm, I'm concerned about, uh, you know, something on my face. I'm concerned about something on my hands or some other part of your body. So I had an opportunity to meet Teresa and, and find out all the magic that she works. So we're going to talk about some of the things that we do, such as um, everybody's familiar with Botox and what it does for right. you. And then... Uh, fillers like Juvederm, man. You know, you hear a lot of the uh, the, the famous people, uh, let's let's use the, the K word, the Kardashians, they all have, have stepped right. forth and said. And, and then uh, actress Vivica Fox, she had an experience with fillers that I didn't think was that positive and a lot of people did not. But fortunately, it did resolve itself and she looks fantastic again. So Teresa, tell us, one, let's talk about Botox and what does Botox do? All right, so Botox is in the class of neurotoxins. So there's a few of them, Botox, um, Dysport, and Zeevan. Those are three of my favorites. And what they do is relax your muscles. So those wrinkles that you get forehead lines from squinting, from you know just everyday facial movements, they start to get deeper and the creases start to stay um, in your face. And people don't like that. We don't want to be wrinkled all the time, right? So the Botox, the Dysport, the ZMN, those are going to relax the muscles. They block the signal from your nerves to your muscles. So they just relax the muscles and it gives you a nice smooth appearance. Um, so that's one of the, the simple quick things that you could do to kind of just rejuvenate and refresh your look. Okay. And the name of, of, of your place of business, your health and wellness spa is called Lavish Rejuvenations. So yeah. Lavish Rejuvenation was, I, I think that was just a desire of yours to really have a first class facility to perform some of these services. And I must say I visited uh, Lavish Rejuvenations and it is uh, one in the Alpharetta area here in uh, around Atlanta. It's north of Atlanta, actually, in one of the suburbs known as Alpharetta. And this is absolutely an incredible facility. What it does, uh, again, you go in, you, you meet with Miss Thompson, and, you know, she is very, very elegant. It's very, very uh, welcoming, receptive. You feel this spa-like atmosphere makes you relax, and you say, wow. So someone comes in, and they, they already have a preconceived notion uh, because they have a friend or a girlfriend or a relative that's gotten something and, and this works for men, too. I don't want the, the men to think this is just for the, men. Like for the, men. For the men as well. Yes. Uh, Dr. Kari has not had any procedures, but uh, they're being. <laughs> but I'm talking to you about it, right? <laughs> <laughs> not anything yet. But, uh, uh, you know, I, I was talking to Miss Thompson. She was talking about, she said, well, see the lines in your forehead like these right here. Said, you don't have to have those. And I, I didn't think they were bad. But, uh, you know, but after she described it, I was like, OK, maybe I should consider it. But so men uh, and ladies, this is a procedure that you can do. So a person comes in and says, oh, um, Ms. Thompson, I want to get um, Botox. And, and what does that entail? How do you uh, assess that person to give them uh, more than that, maybe, or what they need? Yeah, versus what absolutely. They want? So we definitely have to start with like a thorough assessment. Um, first, you'll come in and fill out a medical history because I need to know if there's going to be any reasons why we shouldn't perform any of these services. But once we get the medical history, I just talk to people, um, kind of see what is bothering them. Um, I also ask them to bring pictures of how they, when they were the happiest with themselves, how they looked. So they'll just bring pictures or tell me what's changed. And a lot of times uh, something that they feel is the problem may be caused by something they didn't even realize. So a lot of times, you know, maybe they're getting heavy in the lower face, there's lines here. There's ways to fix that by, you know, lifting the mid face. So just speaking with them, helping them to understand what changes are going on, why things are dropping, things like that. And then we come up with a plan and that's it. We just go ahead and do treatments. Okay, so, but it's not just facial treatments. You can treat other areas of the body, can't you? Yes, yeah, so I also do hair rejuvenation. Um, that's a big one. I do a lot of the 
using your own blood rejuvenation. So PRP, platelet rich plasma, um, I can use that in the face. I can use that in the scalp, um, even sexual health. There's a lot of applications for it. I love doing things like that. My background is non-surgical orthopedics and we use a lot of PRP stem cells. So there's ways that we can use the body to just rejuvenate and regenerate on the more natural side. And it's actually gonna be, it's gonna last longer because your body's gonna create collagen, your body's gonna make these changes. So I err more on the side of doing those. So platelet rich plasma therapy or PRP, this is basically the uh, the platelet cells or, you know, the plasma cells that people have heard about and that they were originally being manufactured by using the blood from the placenta of newborn babies. And of course, that that had a, such a negative connotation against some people because they thought they were were basically uh, killing babies to get this blood. They weren't yeah. doing that. They were using no, not at all. Blood. But now, guess what? They use your own blood. You get use your own your blood, own you, draw blood. It, you, you put it in an apparatus, it spins it down, it creates this platelet-rich plasma uh, solution that you can then apply to various parts of the body. But I have seen the results of uh, some of your patients that have gotten uh, hair restoration. Mm -hmm. um, and and uh, one of the patients we looked at was a male and he had basically almost full male pattern baldness. He barely had a yeah. few hairs on his head. And three months later, now you can barely tell his hair is thinning. And so Absolutely. I expect in six months, he will be totally rejuvenated. And again, it's a non-invasive, non-surgical procedure. There's no recovery time. How long does it take to perform one of those procedures? So that usually takes about 45 minutes to an hour. So not long at all. Um, the longest part is we're going to draw the blood and spin it down in the centrifuge and then the numbing time. So that topical numbing, because you want to leave it on for at least 20 minutes. That's the longest part. And so the great thing about that is you're using your own platelets, your own blood preparation. So there's no opportunity for rejection. There's no opportunity for infection or, well, you can't get infection from the procedure proper, but there's no opportunity for rejection or because it's not, it's your blood. So right. it's just going right back into your body. But mm -hmm. what we have learned is that these cells are able to basically create almost any tissue that your body needs. They're actually even creating organs. Uh, they're growing ears and, and, and uh, right. there's one kind of trying to do an entire heart uh, from platelet rich plasma cells. And you've heard on the, the, the news about people using it for joint injections, for pain, inflammation, yeah. a variety of different things. But as far as it being a restorative uh, 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 technique, it's amazing because it can make skin younger. It can literally uh, regrow hair in areas that there aren't uh, hairs on. And that's you know, for ladies and men. A lot of ladies have the receding hairline. And uh, you remember when you were growing up and grandmother had multiple styrofoam heads with multiple wigs on. She had a special <laughs> wig for Sunday church. And most of the calls, right. hair loss is not a new phenomenon. Not and at all. Uh, so many ladies are uh, now uh, having their hair braided very tightly to have weaves placed on them. Uh, this puts stress and tension on the hair follicles and can result in hair loss. And so when yeah. you... Can, and you can restore those hairs. So, ladies, That's if you got right. some thinning in the temporal area, if you got a full of thinning area in the top, edges, of the area, you know, the edges are still. Uh, and, and to help with that. So, uh, tell us how you can be reached, Teresa. Oh, you can reach me. So, Lavish Rejuvenations is my med spa in Alpharetta. Uh, the website is www.lavishrejuvenations.com. And then by phone, the number is 770 430 2327. And that's Lavish okay, Rejuvenations. 770. Four three zero two three two seven two three two seven twenty three twenty seven. 2327 Okay, so I, I got to teach you how to say it slower. <laughs> so <laughs> We're going we to say it again so people get your right again, yeah. if you want to find out about lavish rejuvenations. But okay, at this point, we're going to take a break. Don't go anywhere, Teresa. We want to make sure that uh, we're doing our countdown and shout out. So let us know who you are and where you're calling or signing in from. Let's do it, have it. Okay, CL Turner, good afternoon from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Thank you, CL. We appreciate wow. you logging on again. Sherry Gamble from Dallas, Texas. Sherry, it's good to see you as well. It is hot as heck in Dallas right now. <laughs> Phoebe Shemaine, Soul Food, good evening. This is your first. I have not seen you. Miss McKeeba Bowler, so good to see you from Douglasville. She is a good friend and patient. Thank you very much, Miss Bowler. Sean Big Time Green was the first male that signed on, and now he's my medical ambassador. He tells all the men sign up and get that great information. Barbara Jones, hello from ATL. Thank you, Barbara. We appreciate you. Chris Goodjoin, good evening from South Carolina. South Kakalaki is in the house. Thank you, Chris. Great background picture. Keith Keith, good evening from Jacksonville, Florida. Okay, we got the East Coast. Let's see what we got Midwest. Miss Audrey Shanae and Galu from Nolens. Thank you so much for joining in. That is my Creole friend, and she is basically uh, just a, a good person to have on this broadcast. 
KC, hello from Houston, Houston, Texas, in the house. Anybody from California? Goldie Dew from Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, that's, that's Midwest. We got the Midwest covered now. Adrian Hurst from South Kakalaki again. South Carolina's in the house. Marion Quidin, that's Quindo from Cocoa Beach, Florida, I guess. Okay, Veronica, I'm not going to even attempt to say, oh, <laughs> Veronica ain't taking no more wallets. Okay, <laughs> Veronica, so glad to have you back. That is the greatest name of all time. <laughs> Patricia Starks from Wesley Chapel, Florida. Okay, Patricia. Derek Kendrick, glad to see another male from Louisville, Louisville. Magnolia Houston from Columbus. Okay, Mississippi, that's Mississippi. Brenda Hopgood from Fairfield, Ohio, Midwest once again. Okay, Winnie King. Hi, Winnie, how are you? From Terrell, Texas. Hello, Winnie. So good to hear from you as well. Felicia Regina, Sturman's hyphenated Cunningham from Jonesboro, Georgia. Thank you, Jonesboro in the house. Hot in Austin, Texas, Cynthia Benson. So glad to have you as well. Okay, Carolyn Brown from Michigan. Good evening. Thank you, Carolyn, for joining us. All right. Okay, Sandra Allen from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Okay, hi there. Let's cut it off. Now, let's say we're going to go to Q&A, and I want you to ask your questions for me. Remember, you can go to my website, lipodrops.com, to find out how you can lose weight, get your sexy back, get all of the products we have been talking about. We have been talking so much recently about inflammation and the benefits of using anti-inflammatory therapies. Vitamin D is the body's natural anti-inflammatory. You have to take it at a therapeutic dose, and a therapeutic dose being 5,000 international units per day, and as well as omega-3 fish oil. This is God's gift to good health. You take omega-3 fish oils, you're going to have cardiovascular health. It helps prevent heart attacks, strokes. It literally lubricates your joints. It decreases inflammation from head to toe. It is a phenomenal, phenomenal uh, supplement that you can take to help you benefit your health. And again, our probiotics, if you have any allergy issues, it can be eczema, it can be asthma, it can be, you know, problems with allergies to food, which uh, today I had a patient that literally tested positive for 100 percent of, of indoor allergies, 100 percent of outdoor allergies. That means every tree, grass and pollen that we tested them for, they were allergic to and 100 percent of every food. So her question was immediately, what do I eat? I said, you don't eat nothing. <laughs> well, of course you do. You have to do that. But you can take probiotics and they will fix that condition called the leaky gut syndrome and allow your body to better uh, digest and metabolize your foods, decrease that inflammatory response, decrease the bloating in your abdomen and decrease, uh, you know, just the unease feeling that you can get that bubble gut sensation or just a discomfort after eating. You should not be aware of your GI tract after eating. But when you are aware, that means something's not quite right. And probiotics have been God's gift to address this. So go to my website, lipodrops.com, to get more information about how to boost your health. And again, lavishrejuvenations.com uh, to find out about all of the services that are available at Lavish Rejuvenation Spa and Wellness Center. Uh, Teresa Thomas, okay, we're going to go to the questions now. So if you have a question for me, roll it up. If you have a question for Teresa, roll it up. So get ready, Teresa. <laughs> okay. How can I find a good low spa location in my area, Fairfield, Ohio? Um, Teresa, you want to handle that? I think she should take a visit to Alpharetta's. The best spa <laughs> she's gonna find. <laughs> there we go. Sometimes you can't get services locally, and uh, I literally have it. I know you do too. You have patients that fly in from all over the country because That's you right. offer some services that aren't available everywhere, and plus they want to see you because of your unique skill set. Getting cosmetic uh, treatments done is like getting uh, your hair done. Some people can just cut your hair and it's just shorter and it doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look good. And other people are artistic. You get they fix your hair in a certain way and it just looks absolutely fabulous because they assess you, your yeah. facial structure, what you need. And they decide what looks good on you and then they make the magic happen. So you want somebody that has that artistic capability. And I have to say, Teresa has that. Uh, and then some she has been gifted uh, to provide some services. So you might want to come here to see her. Thank you, Brenda. Great question. <laughs> Okay, Billy Sue Combs, how can I help say your in the front and back of the thigh? Also, my sex drive seems to be low and I don't enjoy it. Please advise. Billy Sue, you would be a great candidate for a bioidentical hormone replacement therapy that will literally change your life. Uh, it will increase your sex drive, increase your energy level, uh, make you feel like you did 20 years ago. It makes your vagina thick, moist, and tight. So all the things that, that you may have lost over time just from you know, the process of aging are addressed by getting pellet therapy. So that is a unique therapy. It, it may be available in your area. I perform that service in my office. If not, just Google bioidentical hormone replacement therapy or B. 
HRT. Now I'm gonna let you handle the question about the cellulite trees. I know it's one of your specialty areas because we yeah. talked about that. So there are different ways you can um, address cellulite. So first, one of those ways would be microneedling, um, radio frequency microneedling. So you can Google that. It's a machine that it has small needles with heat to them, and they go in and kind of restructure that tissue, um, break that that mesh that's holding it together and creating that cellulite. So I like that treatment for cellulite for sure. And then also there's certain um, peels that you can do, like the ones we do for our face. You can also do for areas of your body that'll help just restore, renew that um, epidermal layer and make it look smoother. I remember early in my practice, when I first started doing, uh, you know, wellness spa type uh, medicine, uh, there really wasn't much you could do for, for say, like, you know, it was basically just a lump of fat. I would tell people, oh, you live in the South, have you ever ate grits before? And they say, yeah, I say, well, sometimes the grits get a lump in them. You just take your fork and break it up. And it's still <laughs> grits, it's just a lump of grits. Well, sometimes you have a lump of fat, which is what cellulite is. It's kind of a clump, a cluster, sometimes uh, compared to a bunch of grapes. Uh, but you can't break that up. You can't massage it out. You can't, you know, the only thing you could really do is surgically remove it. But now with this micro needling technique, it directly addresses those lumps and clumps of fat and it can smooth them out and it can shrink them down and it can really give you that smooth skin so it doesn't look cottage cheesy. You've heard the term right. cottage cheese thighs. So it doesn't look like that. And so that technique uh, is available at uh, Lavish Rejuvenations. And one of the places you may consider, give her a call. What's your number? Say it slowly and loudly, Teresa. 770-430-2327. And the website is? www.lavishrejuvenations.com. Okay, that's L-A-V-I-S-H rejuvenations with an s.com uh so google it and uh i promise you you'll be glad you did because she has so many uh nice pictures and things on there to let you know some of the services that are available okay having next question okay i had botox control neck and shoulder pain love it talk about that botox is a therapeutic entity for yes, neck and shoulder therapy. pain muscle tension headaches migraines Absolutely. It's really good for migraines, tension in the neck, um, in the head. Also for hyperhidrosis, a lot of sweating. I've done a lot of those treatments in the armpits, so palm on the hands. It makes a huge difference. It's a great treatment. It's quick, no downtime. Um, so Botox, yeah, it's not just going to smooth our skin, relax those wrinkles in the forehead, but it can also help with neck pain, migraines, um, even bruxism, like those who grind their teeth at night. I'm one of those. I get Botox in my masseters, um, just help relieve that tension in the jaw. So yeah, Botox has a lot of applications. Okay. So those muscles that control chewing uh, <laughs> or can be relaxed, you're still able to chew and get your food down, right. but you're not grinding those teeth at night in particular. So those mm -hmm. are things that you might not have considered, but, uh, but Botox is being utilized therapeutically. Now, I know I had a patient that had vocal cord spasms and uh, over time, and he was a corporate executive, a CEO of a Fortune 500 company. And as he was having meetings and things, the more he spoke, he would start to lose his voice. And eventually, he would start to have such severe spasms that he couldn't speak at all, and it became painful. And uh, after seeing multiple specialists, uh, I, had, I had suggested on day one that Botox might work for him, but he couldn't find anyone to do it. Uh, there were people that said, yeah, I think I've heard about it, but no one was aware of the technique. So because of uh, what Botox can do in the right hands, and because of what it can do in the wrong hands, it's very important that you work with somebody who has an understanding of how to use this product. So that is where uh, a medical professional like uh, Ms. Thompson uh, will work, I mean, you know, Thomas rather, Ms. Thomas will work and make it wonderful for you. So lavishrejuvenations.com, find out what she's doing there. And thank you, Sherry. We appreciate that. That's a great uh, point that I'm glad you brought out. Okay, Cynthia Benson, what are my thoughts on cryotherapy? Now, Dr. Collier, uh thoughts on cryotherapy is that there are other techniques that I think work better. The problem with cryotherapy is what we're talking about now is basically freezing the, the skin and freezing the fat under the skin. And that is the, the result is directly proportional to the technique of the person doing the sculpting. You've heard of the sculpting, uh, the, the, the cold sculpting, cool sculpting uh, was very popular for a hot minute. Uh, and then uh, people started to express that they were not happy because the person literally had to take a wand. Uh, it was about four to six inches wide and just go over this area. And they had to do that for quite a long time. And the problem is that, you know, one, that person gets tired usually. And so they start skipping areas and the ultimate result would end up with a lumpy type moonscape. Even though it would be smaller, you measure it inch wise, it's better. But once you 
took your clothes off, so to speak, it wasn't not a look that a lot of people were happy with. What do you think, Teresa? Um, yeah, you know, cool sculpting, it could be good, but it, like you said, there are other modalities that I think are better. I actually like heat more so when we're trying to, you know, get rid of fat. I think burning it uh, actually helps more, heating it up. Actually yeah, I think heating it up and causing, like, I, I use a laser lipo uh, for um, yeah. the strawberry laser uh, for to decrease abdominal fat, and it is amazing. One, it works in less than a half an hour. It's permanent the loss of that fat, and it's very permanent. smooth. Uh, yeah. So uh, everybody loves that technology, but between that, they have even better techniques now and better uh, uh, technology. Some of the machines that I have seen can do amazing things. They literally, they take a picture of you before and they take a picture of you 20 minutes later and right. it's fixed. There's no healing time. There's no, 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 nothing to go through. It's just addressing, particularly uh, one of the things I've seen is the bags under your eyes. Uh, this was amazing. And one of the things uh, that uh, I, I think virtually uh, more than half of my patients would benefit from, heck, I may benefit from it. I know that, but uh, it's just amazing that literally 20 minutes after you, they, you get off the table and your after picture is just perfect. And so uh, that, that, that fat is, re is removed in real time. And again, there's no six weeks. There's no multiple treatments. You don't have to do any of that. It's a one shot deal for the vast majority of people. And that's great technology and something that I may have available in my, my office, Ageless MD, at, uh, in the near future. But uh, say, for instance, a person comes in now and they want, or they, and again, this is what happens. They Google it or they know somebody that got it. And they come in and say, uh, Miss Thomas, I want to get cryotherapy. I need to get cool sculpting. And then you say, Oh, yes. Yeah. So then I let them. I mean, and it's their choice, but we'll talk about pros and cons of both. Um, definitely, like you said, heat and the fat is kind of it's going to be more permanent. Cryotherapy, it's going to do some of that, but it's not going to be to the extreme that they probably would want. It's not going to be as even. I mean, the machines that I've seen that do the heating up now, I mean, the apparatus is pretty wide. It covers a large area, so it's kind of harder to to not make that smooth and, and pretty even throughout. So just let them know just how both you know, work and how I prefer one, but you know, they can, they can choose. And, and it's not uncomfortable or unpleasant. Uncomfortable. That cool stuff, when you freeze in that tissue, it's, it's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you know, I, it's not pleasant at all. Uh, not you at you all. know, just like if you, you freeze in the other two, you know what it feels like when you get frozen. Yeah. It's not pleasant. And, uh, but you got to sit there and tolerate it. And that's part of also probably part of the reason why people have that problem because yeah. it starts to get uncomfortable. They start moving and squirming in the person, their arm is getting tired from doing the technique. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's an issue right there in doing so. But again, much better technology available to give you that benefit and to shrink that fat. Okay. That'd be the same as sculpting pods that uses heat. A sculpting pod? I'm not familiar with that technology. Uh, but again, mine doesn't use, I use a, a laser a field belt that's got thousands of laser points in it that yeah. uh, will do that. But there are smaller technologies, but I have not heard the term laser pod previously. Actually, okay, yeah. next question, Ablett. Mary Hollingworth. Okay. The drops work, but it took my boobs. I lost 39 pounds in three and one half months. Boy, that is absolutely amazing, but it doesn't take your boobs. The fat, it may take fat off the top of your breast, but it does not affect breast tissue fat proper. So, uh, so just losing those inches. I know you, you know, the, the layers of fat, the fat on the inside of the breast, the breast tissue proper, and the fat on top of the breast, which is part of being, you know, having fat anywhere in the of your body. So you might have lost that, but it should not make them uh, droop, drop, or, or be matter of fact, they usually firm up and look more attractive and a little, a uh, little firmer because they're not quite as heavy. There's no weight on top of them pushing them down. So uh, it might have given you that, but I promise you, the man in your life is very happy with that <laughs> at this point. So uh, I think that, but thank you, 39 pounds, that's a good endorsement, 39 pounds in three and a half months. Yeah, thank that's you, amazing. Hollywood. We appreciate that. Thank you much. Tell all your friends. Okay, <laughs> Jay Copeland, 99, I've been dealing with bad breath for most of my life, not from pool or hygiene. I think it's digestion, it's the constipation, I take probiotics, don't really work, suggestions. Uh, Jay Copeland, you need more than just a probiotic. You need a, uh, there's a product line that we have called the Belly Fix at our website, lipodrops.com. You go and we have a product called a Lipo Cleanse. Uh, and what that does, that is not a laxative. The term laxative has been replaced by the term cleanse. When you go to the drugstore now, the grocery store in the health section, they have cleanses. And it can be a one day cleanse. It could be a one hour cleanse. It could be a seven day cleanse. So that term has really been skewed. But our Lipo Cleanse product, is a, basically uh, a, an intense fiber product that makes you have large, easy to pass bowel movements. 
Okay, so that's the main thing. You want to get that. You don't want to be constipated. It is not a laxative, but it will allow you to have large, and you will be shocked and surprised as to how much you have backed up in you. Now, oftentimes when I have a person, particularly when they have a history of constipation, I say take a clean out, do something, take a, a, a some uh, magnesium citrate, which is a bottle that looks like Sprite. It's the same thing they can give you when you're getting the colonoscopy. You can also take Miralax and a high enough dose, it will do the same thing. A lot of the GI doctors are using Miralax now, uh, which I thought was just a routine fiber product until I saw the dose that they require you to take. And it will clean you out as well. Now, once you once you have done that, you're starting now from ground zero. So you got two things you want to do. You want to replace the bad bacteria in your gut with good bacteria and create a positive microbiome in your GI tract. So. The, the, the probiotic product that you use has to meet certain criteria. One, it has to have more than one colony. Our, our probiotic uh, uh, supplement that we have on our website has multiple colonies, and each colony has to be in the billions with a B versus the millions with an M of colony forming units. The unit of measure is CFU, the colony forming units. Our product has multiple uh, types of bacteria each at the billions of colony forming units and it will take you're going to clean yourself out then you're going to replace that bad bacteria with good bacteria and then you're going to take those probiotics and you take the clean so that you will continue to have a normal bowel movement hopefully no less than once every other day but ideally at least once daily now once you've done that clean out it may be three days before you have another bowel movement i have patients that will call me and say i haven't had a bowel movement for three days that means you were literally cleaned out because the gut transit time in the United States of America with the foods that we eat is about three days. Over in Africa, it's a day, less than a day. That's why they don't have colon cancer over there. We have it over here because we let it fester and fume in our GI tract. So that's what we want to do with that. So, Jake Open, go to lipodrops.com, get the belly fix. And next time, I want you to log in and tell us how much better you're doing because I guarantee you that breath will be improved and you will not have that problem if it's GI if the reasons the GI tract. Next question. Make note, how do I remove loose skin on the abdomen? Okay, there are several ways, but let's talk about, uh, again, uh, that's one of the things that you do quite well, uh, Ms. Thompson. How do you do that? Yeah, so the loose skin on the abdomen is definitely another one of the microneedling. I turn to microneedling for that one too. Um, that tightens the skin. It also helps with uh, restructuring like uh, scars, things like that. So it has to be microneedling with radio frequency. It has to have the heat to it. So there's two types. Um, also, a little bit of PRP with the microneedling would help a lot too. It helps with the healing. It helps smooth things out. It helps with that skin cell turnover. So we're keeping skin fresh and new. Um, basically, like we said earlier, we want to keep skin young and we can do that with PRP. So those are two ways that I would do it, especially if we want to avoid doing any type of surgery. So that's the platelet, platelet rich plasma, the PRP along with the microneedling and then two types, the one with the radio frequency is the most effective for that. And remember, really, the only thing that could be offered to you before was either wrapping it up and just binding it. Uh, that's where the whole Spanx community came into being. Uh, right. A multi-billion dollar business just binding it, but it doesn't fix it. Uh, it just puts it away, so to speak, until you, you remove the binding. Then there was surgical removal, which was uh, you know a drastic way. To get, to get the skin off, they literally just take it, fold it, and cut it off and sew it back up, uh, removing those those pieces of tissue. But now, when you have those wings flapping and you have that extra abdominal, it's called a, a platus, uh, particularly if it folds over, you've lost a significant amount of weight, it can literally fold over and that can predispose you to skin fungal infections and staphylococcal bacterial infections under that. And that's one of the things that will uh, allow insurance companies to justify paying for the surgery to remove it because normally it is considered a cosmetic procedure and they won't pay for it. But with the microneedling, you can shrink that skin. You can you, you don't remove it. You just make it better. You, you Instead of it being stretched out, you shrink it, bring it back in, and you get a much better response. There are some before and after pictures on uh, the Lavish Rejuvenations website uh, that are absolutely incredible. So you go to that website, lavishrejuvenations.com, and see some of these uh, the benefits of that particular technique. Again, available in Alpharetta here in Atlanta, uh, well worth it. Give her a call. What's your phone number again? My phone number is 770-430-2327. 430-2327. Again, so that question always comes up. When we have patients that have phenomenal weight loss, they always ask, now, what can I do about the new skin? And uh, what you want to try to do is tone up as you're losing the weight 
versus waiting until you've lost the weight and now the skin is it becomes a problem if, if if not just cosmetic and also can be uh, creating some issues medically as well so if you have that plan in mind and you want to start doing those things there are other things that you can do to tone and tighten that skin up before you get to the micro needling phase i know you have some topical products that can also help with that uh you know and uh and other things that you might do so it's, it's just a wealth of information available on that website. I'll give her a call or you will be able to talk to, to, to Ms. Thomas directly to get more information about some of the services that are offered in a med spa and particularly one that does the procedures that she does. So this is a full service facility. There are some facilities that just do weight loss. They don't do anything else. There are some facilities that, that touch on maybe Botox. They might do some fillers like Juvederm. Let's talk about fillers. What, what, why do people get fillers and what do you do with them? Okay, so fillers, that's going to address volume loss. So, of course, as we age, we lose some volume. That's when, like, those cheeks start drooping. Um, you lose your little fat pads in the lower phase here uh, with fillers. And then also lips. You know, sometimes we just want to plump our lips. So with fillers, I can restore that volume. I can bring those cheeks back up. Um, we can restore volume in our smile lines. A lot of people, you know, lose the volume in their cheeks that make the lines come here. So we can fill that up. We can... Fill this in and then lips. That's one of my favorite things to do too. So if you want to plump up the lips, you know, we can just add a little filler. It's um, hyaluronic acid. It is metabolized by the body. Um, when it's done correctly, you won't want to dissolve it. And that is the key thing. Again, this is where having a person that has an artistic as well as a medical uh, capability there. You want somebody that's going to shape those lips and make them look full, but make them look good. They're balanced. They're even on both sides. Some people I've seen asymmetry. And it's just human nature. You inject one side and then you, you either have to use the other high or the needle goes in a different angle if you draw a line down the center of your face. And so some people can't adjust for that appropriately. When I've seen uh, Ms. Thomas do injections, it has been amazing the way she, she's like she's playing a musical instrument. She just goes around and does them. It is incredible uh, the way. That, but that is an artist at work. And that's where you want to take advantage of some of those things. So why do you want to lose the weight? The LipoDrops.com website, the LipoDrops Max Formulation. We just had a testimony and lost uh, almost 40 pounds in three months. That is as good as any other weight loss technology that is out there and available at this time. And you can get it right now going to the website, lipodrops.com. Uh, remember, if you're having problems with digestion, if you're having problems with allergies, we have our belly fix. That's the probiotic as well as the lipo cleanse in combination. Uh, Dr. Kari takes those each on a daily basis. Uh, and I found that I actually have been able to cut down on the colon cleanse. Instead of taking it twice a day, I just take one uh, at night before I go to bed. And it, it's amazing how well it works. I do take the probiotics. When I brush my teeth in the morning, I take the probiotics. When I brush my teeth at night before I go to bed, I take the probiotics. So I get two doses of that uh, daily. And uh, those are products that are available that you can utilize as well. You know, Dr. Kaya has his trio for good health. That's the vitamin D, the omega-3 fish oil, and the probiotics. Those three things will optimize your health. You will look better. You will feel better. All those things are things that you can do to, uh, uh, again, just be the best that you can be. You want to have energy, not just at the beginning of the day when you wake up. You want to have energy midday, right after lunch. You want to have energy at night so you can do those fun things that you've been working all day to be able to do. Now I might want to go out to happy hour. I might want to go to dinner or a movie. You don't want to be in the movie falling asleep. <laughs> that <laughs> happens because you're so fatigued because you just don't have any gas in your tank. So these are things that can you know, just make you feel better, make your body function better. And improve when you are detoxed and you're not carrying all that waste in your body uh you're uh, it obviously it looks better it feels better your skin is better your eyes are brighter and you don't have that foul breath that we were speaking about earlier okay uh go to lipodrops.com get that information Okay, Brenda, this is for you, Teresa. Do you have treatment for dark circles? Yeah, sure do. So the dark circles I have treated. A lot of ways. My favorite, though, is with PRP, the platelet-rich plasma. So I told you guys, I really like that regenerative medicine, um, using your own body to kind of manipulate and make skin younger and better. And that's what I do with the dark circles. Um, so what you would do is get your blood drawn, we spin it down in the centrifuge and concentrate those platelets. And then I take it out and we actually inject under the eyes um, in a very specific manner, uh, in very specific places. And I usually do about two to three treatments. I mean, after the first, you're going to notice a difference, but it's usually two to three where we really get all of that darkness away. 
So I see these products advertised uh, everywhere on television, on the internet, everything like that. I, you know, it's creams, ointments, things like that. Uh, one, do they work? Two, uh, what are they doing? <laughs> what do those creams do? Yeah, so those creams do some skin renewal too, but just at a, not as much as we can do with the PRP, but it is something that you would want to keep on board you know, after you do your treatment, or you can even start before, it is something that helps with that skin cell renewal, skin cell turnover. So we're trying to keep that skin young. So those do work. Um, but the PRP is what's going to jumpstart and definitely make the biggest difference. Okay, so you get the PRP and now you got the look that you want. And then mm -hmm. when we're talking about maintaining, so you do yeah. utilize an after treatment program that would include uh, various types of products. Yes. And those products are available at your office as well. Yes, they are. Okay, sure. very good. All right. And they do have some, you have information about them on the website as well. Yes. Okay. Lavish rejuvenation. Go and find out about the you know, various types of, let's say a person comes in and says, I want a good skincare regimen to maintain healthy skin, maintain that, that youthful appearance. Uh, what do you recommend? So there's a lot that goes into regimens, you know, it depends on the person, but what you're going to want to have is good skincare products. You know, that's number one. Are you using the right things on your skin? So I have a couple lines. I do like Neocutis. So I start them out on um, Neocutis is the name of the brand I use and put them on, you know, a cleanser, toner, a neck cream, an eye cream, and then an SPF. That's very important. I mean, a lot of us, even in our community, they think that you don't need sunscreen, but you absolutely do. You're getting sun damage if you're not wearing sunscreen. So I always get everybody a good sunscreen. And then we start those preventative treatments. So Botox, microneedling, so that your skin is always refreshed and rejuvenated. And we're always keeping like new skin cells coming in. Okay. Now I know you also have some experience with uh, our full line of products, particularly the lipo drops, the lipo cleans, et cetera. Uh, do you use any of those products in your facility as well? Yeah, yeah. So we have some lipo drops. We um, all of the vitamin D supplements, all of that, because you're going to need that, too. You want to cleanse from the inside out. So I can do a lot on the outside. But if the inside is not being kept up, you know, you're not taking care of things on the inside. It's not going to last on the outside. So I definitely, definitely recommend that, you know, you're on a regimen of good supplements, probiotics, like Dr. Collier has been saying, um, vitamin D is extremely important. Uh, some immune. I mean, I've got a lot of B vitamins. I have vitamin C antioxidant um, topicals that you put on your skin. So just take care of yourself from the inside out is how you're going to look your best. All right. So go to our website right now. If you want to look your best, feel your best, be your best. Lipodrops.com right now. We got some specials going on. We want to make sure that you take full advantage of it. Next question. I have it. Okay, how many sessions does micro needling take? That's from Billy Sue Combs. That's definitely going to be three, at least three for everybody. So what you want to do is when you first start out, um, you're going to have to build up that that tissue, build up the look that you want, and usually takes about three sessions. After that, there is some upkeep too. You know, you want to come back and do it every six months to a year. You know, maybe just once a year once we get you to where you want to be. But you will notice after each session that your skin quality is changing. Your skin feels thicker. Um, it's kind of thickening up the dermis. You're not going to feel as fragile or thin skinned anymore. Um, and you'll be able to tolerate the microneedling more and more each time. So those are ways that we kind of gauge how your skin is responding. So I definitely say at least three in the beginning just to get you to a good baseline. Uh, I'm glad you mentioned that because thinning of the skin is one of the, the signs and symptoms of aging. Mm -hmm. And uh, your skin becomes thinner and more fragile. Uh, and you know, if you've seen it on people of lighter persuasion, uh, transparent almost. Uh, and so that means you brush up against something, you can literally uh, tear a flap of skin off. And that is a big problem. So we want to have that skin uh, healthy. And I know that uh, you and I discussed a recent patient that you had that you were doing some work on the hands. Okay, mm -hmm. what, what did that entail? So with the hands, we can also microneedle and that's going to be the same the same thought process. We want to thicken up that skin. Um, hands tend to get a little wrinkly, sometimes quicker, especially depending on what you do for work. There's a lot of factors that go into that. But microneedling that area, um, adding some PRP, I've really thickened people's skin up, smooth things out, um, smooth over scarring and made people who felt like they had man hands. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> look a little bit better, like, like a little more feminine, a little more smoother, a little more attractive. So we could do different areas of the body. I also have um, clients who like to do their around their knees. You know, we start getting a little wrinkly when we lose uh, fat in around the knees. So 
I've helped, I've done microneedling there and that is tremendous too. It tightens up the skin, it smooths things out. Microneedling is one of those that just has, it can do a lot. So I use it a lot in my everyday, everyday. Uh, All right, so knees and hands, something that you may not have considered, but now you look at, look at your hands, look at your <laughs> knees now and say, you say to yourself, oh, I, that could be a little tighter. Uh, yeah. and, or you've noticed it on other people. Uh, you know, it's summertime, it's bathing suit season. And so, you know, a lot of more seasoned people, they'll wear a full size, uh, a full, um, bathing suit not a bikini or anything but you can still see their hands and their knees and you say okay those knees are a little saggy and that can be addressed that can actually be fixed so uh you know this this is why we're bringing this state-of-the-art information to you because we want you to know again we can total body rejuvenation can happen it does happen people do it all the time a lot of these people that are walking around aren't just genetically blessed <laughs> or maybe you think oh i look like my mother and you know my mother was this and i have this blood in me or whatever uh, a lot of people have been getting work done, as they put it, uh, to be the best that they can be to optimize their look. And that is definitely, uh, you know, if it makes you look good, it makes you feel good, it makes you feel good, it decreases your stress, decreases your anxiety, uh, improves every disease state. Your blood pressure is more easily controlled. You sleep better. Uh, I, I'm not having to fight to keep your blood sugars down because that baseline stress, that baseline total body inflammation is not there. Uh, it's just, uh, again, so we are clearly understanding that your mindset as to how you feel about yourself. When you look in the mirror, you want to have a happy feel. You want to feel good about what's, what's looking back at you. And uh, and so, and you want to feel confident. And all those things, it is amazing the effect they have on your body and your mind, your peace of mind, your quality of life when you address those things. So lavish rejuvenation, one of the places you can get it, Ms. Teresa Thompson. Uh, Thomas, right? I keep saying Thompson. I don't know why I just like that P. Uh, Ms. Thomas uh, is an uh, excellent practitioner uh, located in Alpharetta uh, here in the Atlanta area. You Again, people fly in from all around the country to see her because she is special. She has a technique, a technology, and overall artistry that you will be able to appreciate. Go to the website, Lavish Rejuvenations. Look at some of these pictures. Get more information about the research. Thank you so much for joining us today. We greatly appreciate you being here, and we'll we're gonna bring you back because you were great. You. Uh, you're a great guest. We appreciate thank you. Thank you so much for having me. It was a pleasure. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay, have it. Let's keep the questions rolling. Okay, Jesse C. Dealing with bad breath for many years. Okay. All right. I always had difficulty regular bowel movements and bloating. I take probiotics. It doesn't. Okay. I think this is a question that we addressed already. Uh, well, it was same or similar, exactly. Jesse Jones, my mother's 81 and she takes high blood pressure medication. Her doctor's changing her medication now. Her pressure won't come down. What she needs to do? Uh, one, to get a great outcome, you need to have the right doctor and the right patient. It may take up to five medications to control the blood pressure. How many do you need to be on? As many as it takes to control the blood pressure. At 81, your mother's now in a high risk category to have an event. That event would be a heart attack or a stroke, uh, oftentimes caused by uncontrolled blood pressure. And so you take the, the you, we have learned that instead of taking one medication at the highest dose possible to try to get a blood pressure control, it is better to take two or more medications at lower doses. Then you get a cumulative effect so that you get a greater lowering of the blood pressure because you're pushing it down from here. You're pushing it down from here. And the, the combination of the two pushes it down even further. Uh, and so that is a great way to do it. It is a process. The process is called titration. You, you get one medicine at the dose that you like, and then you add another medication and you keep doing that until one, you want to make sure the patient's not having any adverse events or side effects. And two, that you're getting the benefit that you need. But I would definitely recommend that your mother needs to be on at least two classes of drug, a calcium channel blocker and or an ACE or an ARB. It's called an angiotensin receptor blocker or an angiotensin uh, uh, receptor uh, antagonist. So an ACE or an ARB and a calcium channel blocker. Those are the first two and most common. And then a low dose diuretic as well, a quote, water pill. Uh, they come in up to 50 milligrams. Some people go up to 100 you don't need more than 12.5 milligrams of virtually any diuretic that's available. Uh, that will not make you urinate aggressively. And that's the key point, particularly for an 81 year old. You don't want to give them a diuretic because they're not going to take it. Uh, but diuretics do increase the efficacy of most blood pressure medications by up to 50 percent. 
So if you're getting a certain lower and you add a small, low dose diuretic, you're going to get a much better improvement in the drop in the blood pressure. So it's going to be a process. Make sure she partners with the doctor. She understands what medication she's supposed to be taking. You might want to go with her to these appointments and be her advocate so that everybody in the house understands what mother is taking, how she's supposed to be taking it, when she's supposed to be taking it. I personally like to give medications that you only have to take one time per day. Sometimes you have to be on certain drugs that have to require three times per day dosing. So it just depends. But again, it's, it's you know, it's most patients, you can you can get their blood pressure control if you are aggressive enough with your therapy. Great question, Jesse. OK, Teresa Johnson, my husband is slowly losing his sight. The optometrist only recommended eye surgeries that made his eyes worse. They're saying that his eye pressure is the reason what to do. OK, so he has glaucoma uh, and there are uh, sometimes surgical uh, treatments are required to decompress the eye and improve the drainage system. Your eye has a fluid in there that is constantly manufactured. It kind of goes through the eye, it washes through and it comes out of ducts so that it's continuously turning over and fresh. If that plumbing gets obstructed, the, the, it doesn't stop making the fluid. It continues to make it, but it's not draining. So you get backflow and the that starts to swell up. It changes the focal point, which is why you, you lose your vision, because now the relationship between the size of the eye and the lens is changing. So it can just be blurred vision. Or it can be actual too much pressure and it starts to do damage to the retina, which is where you actually are having vision. So this is a complicated case. Your husband needs to have a doctor that deals with the front of the eye and the back of the eye. And there are uh, uh, ophthalmologists that do just that. Uh, the specialized, I know particularly in Atlanta, we have a husband and wife team, one specialized in the front of the eye, one specialized in the back of the eye, and they have amazing results. They have amazing results uh, when doing so. So, uh, uh, again, work with your, and again, your, doc, your, your, your husband needs to be seeing an ophthalmologist. An optometrist is just a doctor that does glasses. Uh, if, if he's seeing an optometrist, he needs to be seen by an ophthalmologist uh, to help address this issue. So ophthalmologist is the doctor that you want to see. Okay, Teresa, great question. Brad Datson, what's the name of the blood pressure pill that doesn't affect a man's ability to perform? Lots of them. And those are the ones that Dr. Kaya utilizes uh, and use that medication. So the first class would be uh, a calcium channel blocker. Uh, that the most common and most popular is a medication called amlodipine. And, but then there are others, uh, various types of what's called for rapamil uh, that can do that. And then the ACE or the R class of drugs. What those drugs do are block the effects of a hormone that's secreted by your kidneys that makes your blood pressure go up, particularly when you're under stress. And if you live in America and you're a person of color, you're under stress 24 seven. So this we understand. So what that medication does, I like to say, it doesn't bring your blood pressure down. It stops your blood pressure from going up. That is a very important and significant difference. And that is why these medications have literally zero side effects. Unless you're actually allergic to the, to the, com the chemical compound that makes these medications up, they literally don't have any side effects. And so that's the great thing about them. But for calcium channel blockers, they, if you have, let's, let's look at it from a plumbing analogy. If you have a pipe that's three inches wide, and it's got a certain amount of fluid in it. That fluid is under a certain amount of pressure. Well, if you do what's called vasodilate and you now have a four inch pipe, four inch pipe, same amount of fluid, less pressure. That is how those medications work. The benefit of those is that the mechanism of a man's erection is that of blood flow. So if you got a bigger pipe, you have more blood flowing uh, directly into the penis. So it can make your erections longer and harder. Nobody ever complains about that. I've never had a single male come to me and say, oh, Dr. Kai, it's too long and too hard. Can you give me something else for my blood pressure? Uh, no, that's a, a significant uh, a substantial benefit for most men, but it does lower your blood pressure as well. So those are the two class of drugs that I always start off with. Uh, I may start off with 25 milligrams of a diuretic to get your blood pressure down. But then within two to four weeks, I'm going to lower that dose to 12.5 for a maintenance phase because it, uh, it doesn't, it's not going to, to take the fluid out at that point. You're not going to be excessively urinating. There are benefits in what are called the renin angiotensin aldosterone system, the RAAS, RAS system that is responsible for regulating your blood pressure. 
And a low dose diuretic has great benefits and does everything that you want to do the right way to lower your blood pressure without any substantive or significant side effects. Great question, Brian. Check that out and ask your doctor about it. Okay. Miriam Quin Quindo. Okay. Oh, Quindo. I've been going to the doctor for different pains and they keep telling me it's inflammation. What do you recommend for that? I heard vitamin D5000. What else? Stop the inflammation. Omega-3 fish oil. There are other natural anti-inflammatories such as curcumin or turmeric, T-U-M-E-R-I-C. Black sea oil is a good natural anti-inflammatory as well. So there are various supplements that you can take, but sometimes you have to, uh, you know, also take prescription medications. The class of medications that you can take are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs. That includes aspirin, that includes Motrin, that includes Advil, that includes Aleve. That includes uh, uh, Arthrotec or a, a, a Diclofenac. There are multiple anti-inflammatory medications that work and all work well. Then there's another class of drug called the COX-2 inhibitors. These are easier on the stomach or less uh, likely to cause you to have an ulcer and do not negatively impact the cardiovascular system, causing uh, problems or difficulty controlling your blood pressure or making your blood pressure go up. So uh, that class of drugs, two name brands would be Mobic or Meloxicam or Celebrex or Cephalotoxabid. Uh, both of those are great medications. You can take each, each of those once or twice a day. Some of the other anti-inflammatories are two to three times per day. Uh, again, but they will calm down an inflammation. Uh, again, I like probiotics as well because if the inflammation has anything to do with your GI tract, that will help decrease the inflammation as well. So, Miriam, go to the website. Start off with the vitamin D, the probiotics, and the omega-3 fish oil. Try those. See what happens. It's not going to be an instant one pill, does it? But after a couple of weeks, you should notice a marked decrease in your inflammation. There are actually blood tests that you can do. There are two uh, easy to test for inflammatory markers. One is called the erythrocyte sedimentation rate or sed rate. Uh, that should be less than 30. Uh, and most people is five to 10. Uh, when you have inflammation in your body, it goes higher. Uh, once you're over 30, you definitely have confirmed inflammatory disease processes. The other is the high sensitivity or HSC reactive protein. These are two tests that can be done, a simple blood test that can measure uh, your body's inflammatory condition and state. And then after you've taken these medications, you recheck it and you'll see that those things have been proved. I have patients with high set rates all the time. I place them on the vitamin D and omega-3 fish oil. And a month later, those numbers are down. Three months later, those numbers are perfectly normal. Uh, and so, and they, the person looks better, feels better. Certain disease states, hypertension is an inflammatory condition. Uh, diabetes is definitely an inflammatory condition. Being overweight, not just obese. Obesity itself is markedly inflammatory, but just being overweight, if you're carrying an extra 20 to 30 pounds, that is an inflammatory condition. And so it's important that you calm down that inflammation. So natural ways, uh, the vitamin D, omega-3 fish oil, curcumin, turmeric, black sea oil, a lot of good natural anti-inflammatories. And then if those don't give you the benefit that you want, I would go to some of the prescription medications. Great question, Miriam. Okay. Edward Smith, a 55-year-old black male with no sex drive. It's hard to get and maintain erection, causing my spouse to feel like she doesn't do it for me. What can I do besides the blue pill? Edward, that is an incredible question, and, and you're going to get the award for the question of the day. Uh, one of the products that we have on the website is a product called Lipo-T. What that does, it addresses a variety of different ways. Every one of the symptoms that you just described, it boosts your sex drive. It makes it easier for you to get and maintain a good, firm erection that's great for penetration. And uh, this is, you also described something that's very important. In a relationship, when a man has difficulty getting and maintaining the erection, his partner can be sympathetic, then empathetic, then it can go to anger because they feel rejected or they feel like something's not right in the relationship because you're not able to function. So there's so many benefits from taking a medication like this or a supplement like this. The lipo -T supplement, you take two or three, uh, depending upon uh, the benefit that you want. And, and uh, for you, since this is a big issue, I would say you take three. You take three capsules every day, uh, anytime after dinner and before bedtime. And, and then you are ready when you are ready. It's not like the Cialis, the Viagra, or the Levitra, which you take 
you know, 15 to 30 minutes before you're about to have sex. And then you take it and then you sit there watching the clock to see how much time has passed. And am I ready now? Am I ready now? And you can literally outthink yourself. You can think yourself out of having a good sexual experience. With the Lipo T, you are ready when you're ready. You start taking it over time. You develop a good basic sexual fitness level. Just like if you start working out at the gym, your body gets stronger. You start taking a lipo T, your sexual function starts to get stronger. You're better at it. And you just have a, a baseline level of sexual physical fitness like you used to have. And now you're able to function with no problem. Once that happens, you won't feel shy. You won't feel uh, uh, inadequate. You won't feel uh, uh, like questions. Am I going to be able to function this time? I don't know. Uh, you know, all those sorts of things. Those one, you'll be, you know, Da, 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 I'm ready. And then she'll be like, thank you. You know, now we're back. You know, life is great and our relationship works. At 55, this should not be an issue for you. Now, also uh, make sure that you're dealing with simple stuff. Uh, simple stuff being uh, number one sign of uh, uh, problems with getting and maintaining erection is diabetes, then high blood pressure. If you have either of those, you have to control those disease states to get the optimal benefit from the Lipo T product. But go to the website, lipodrops.com. Look for lipo T, lipo T. Red bottle means it's red hot. You will be red hot as well. Lipodrops.com, the lipo T. They haven't had a man uh, that had not sworn by this medication. It is literally life changing. Next question, Happy, we got time. Makiba, what is the benefit of taking magnesium supplements? That is a great question. Magnesium is a, uh, a compound that does so many great benefits to, to your body's cells on a cellular level. But it's one of the great things about uh, muscle health in particular. I have patients that describe fatigue in their legs or fatigue in their, their, their whole body, their, their large muscles in particular, the back, the thighs. But muscle spasms, leg cramps, particularly at night, magnesium is amazing to give you great benefit with that. Also, on a cellular level, each of the arteries in your body are lined with cells that are like tile in your bathroom. Those cells are called the endothelial cells. We used to think that they were just tile performing a basic function of lining an artery. What we have learned subsequently is that this is your body's largest organ. They have a full neurohormonal function that's very important to maintain good health. And so magnesium helps supplement those endothelial cells and keeps them healthy. It makes you look and feel better because it improves your circulation on a cellular level. So more oxygen, more nutrients getting to your cells, getting through those arteries, the fine line, the capillaries on a cellular level. So you have good exchange of what your body needs to make it the best that it can be. Okay. Last question, Hadley. I'm um, 132 pounds, 54 years. I don't work out as much because I have issues with my joints, my left hip. It pops all the time. Very frustrating because it impedes me from working out. Two, uh, your workout, you probably would benefit more from uh, resistance bands than uh, trying to lift or even support your own body weight. Swimming would also be good because the water supports your own body weight. Water aerobics is one of the greatest exercises. I like it because I don't like to sweat. When I sweat, I don't feel good. Uh, and so when doing so uh, like that, uh, water aerobics is perfect. But if you're not, if you're afraid of water or can't swim and you don't have to know how to swim to do water aerobics, you really uh, can put on a life jacket and just walk around in the water and do those movements. And the resistance of the water for every movement that you make is the greatest minute per minute workout that your body can get with the greatest benefit bar none. But instead of putting stress on your hips, trying to lift weights or, or doing unusual movements, resistance bands would be the perfect uh, uh, thing for you to optimize your musculoskeletal health uh, because it gives you great benefit with little or no stress on the joints. And then uh, things that will build up joint health, vitamin D. You cannot have healthy joints if you don't have good vitamin D. It's one of the building blocks that's necessary for your bones, which regenerate all the time. Your bone is continuously making new bones as osteocytes are constantly being formed. But you have to have good, strong osteocytes, not weak, brittle osteocytes, so that your body can, can participate. Because you don't have a lot of excess weight. 134, 132 pounds is an excellent weight. Uh, at age 54, you should not be impaired. But you're at a point now where uh, you can have some difficulty with osteoporosis because of uh, issues with menopause, etc. So vitamin D, omega-3 fish oil, great supplements to help this problem. Okay, have it. that brings to an end. This episode of the Your Health is Important Facebook Live and Instagram broadcast. It has been my pleasure 
to be with you this evening. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had some of your medical questions answered. We look forward to the next time. Remember, you can hear me on Wellness Wednesdays on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. On Wednesday mornings, we air at 820 Eastern Standard Time. You can tune in. We always have health information available. Go to our YouTube channel and follow me on social media. You can reach me on all social media, including the YouTube channel at Ask, A-S-K, D-R-M-J, Ask Dr. M-J, and you can get, we have thousands of videos on, that have been produced for you and lots of great information for us. Our vitamin D video went viral with over a million views. We got to do that for some more information as well. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.